Now let's take a look at the remaining pages of the Solaris Oscillator section. In the main group, there are two pages. The main oscillator control stuff has some secondary things. On the secondary page, we have hard sync or phase sync, glide, and a glide on and off. And this is exponential glide per oscillator. With a hard sync, if you synchronize it to the note on event, then the, every time a key comes in or a note comes in, the uh, phase will reset. This is the same thing that happens with hard sync from another oscillator. You can't synchronize an oscillator to itself, however, you'll get no sound. But if we synchronize it from another oscillator, we will hear that if we change the tuning of that oscillator, because that's now oscillator 2 that is the master, that'll affect the tuning for both because oscillator 1 is slave to oscillator 2. However, if we change the tuning of the synchronized or slave oscillator, you get that characteristic hard sync sound as it's being swept. Not all of the wave shapes or wave types are available to have sync. But you can synchronize a chain of oscillators, so oscillator 3 can synchronize to 4, can synchronize to 1, and so on. Now we're going to take a look at the mod section. See the buttons to the left, main and mod. In most cases, the mod section will have four pages, each one controlling a different source. So here we have the source and the amount of it, the control signal, and the strength of the control signal, and the destination. For the oscillators, we have three destinations. Pitch, which is in semitones, that's exponential pitch. Linear frequency modulation, which is in a percentage. And uh, shape, wave shape, which is also a percentage. And of course, this only affects uh, oscillator types that have a variable shape function. So let's pick exponential pitch or frequency control and we'll pick something from the source list. You can see there's LFOs, we can dial up noise sources, other audio sources, uh, sequencers, continuous controllers, joystick, ribbon, aftertouch, looping envelopes and so on. We'll pick uh, envelope 1 and we'll drive the frequency of that. And we have a range of 120 semitones. Let me just set that somewhere in there and you can hear that it's changing the frequency for every note that's going on. Now if we synchronize this to another oscillator, make it a slave to oscillator 2, now you hear that the oscillator that is slaved, even though its pitch is being driven by envelope, it's trying to stay within a certain uh, relationship to oscillator 2, the, the main oscillator. So get that kind of typical hard sync swept sound using that approach. Now if we switch it to shape, we'll have to go back to the main page and pick a different wave shape that has shape control. JAWS. JAWS is the stack of uh, sawtooths and shape in this case controls the detuning of those seven. So now as we increase that you'll hear the uh, envelope one is affecting the spread of detuning of the JAWS wave shape. And of course, if I wanted to have further control of that signal, I could use the control and strength parameters. This will allow you to do things like, uh, you could put it on aftertouch and then have a strength of 100% and then there wouldn't be any envelope sweeping of the pitch until you press down on the key. So it's a kind of what some people call side chaining control. So that explains the modulation section and that's pretty much it for the oscillators.